Welcome back, Love Nation. This is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has been coming to my channel. Like this video, share this video. Today, we are going to talk about Sukiyana and this unconventional, crazy situations that she's been in in the last few weeks. First, I am going to start with a clip from Denzel Washington because he basically sums up my entire commentary. So I want to play you guys this clip of what Denzel said, looking back at his career first. Please take some knowledge from what he's saying before I get into my commentary concerning Sukiyana in this crazy past two, three weeks that she's been having. I'm about to play that clip right now for you guys. Story long. <laughs> I called Sydney and I was sick because he told me to call him. If I, you know, I call, I was, I said, man, they offered me six hundred thousand dollars to play the nigga you, they, they couldn't kill. <laughs> and he said, I'm not going to tell you what to do. He said, I'm not going to tell you that, Denzel. He says, but I can tell you this: the first two or three or four films you do in this business will dictate how you're perceived in this yes. business. Mm -hmm. So you make a decision. You know, he didn't tell me what to do, and I give him credit for that. And I turned it down. And six months later, I got Cry Freedom uh. and got an Oscar nomination. So it could have gone an entirely, you know, you, ne you never know. Mm -hmm. It could have gone, my whole yeah. career could have gone an entirely different way. Well, in a different way. Okay, yeah. Davis. And all the... All right, you guys just saw that clip uh, that Denzel was talking about his career and his life and biography in Hollywood. And I played that clip because... You never know how your early choices in trying to break out in a career for the world could either come back to haunt you or propel you to something great. And what we are missing right now is that greatness uh, from Sukiyana. And I'm saying this in the most trying to be positive manner as possible. I don't like tearing down people in their circumstances. I try to look at these circumstances and try to figure out how I can make a video in some sort of way most of the time without going too negative. Getting back to Sukiyana, she has had a very eye-opening career, if you want to call it that. She recently went on the Armand Wiggins show and did another, you know, mind-boggling conversation, which people are definitely questioning which direction is this young lady actually headed into? I'm showing her and Bootsy right now because you guys remember she um, got walked like a dog in his video. A lot of people thought that was very, very tacky. And this is probably, you know, it's not the only thing she's been a part of. But a lot of people look back on that like, oh my God, girl, why did you do this? Now, more recently, her and YK... Osiris had a situation where he approached her while she was doing uh, some, tour, some sort of convention or something and he reached up to you know um, get a little bit too close to her which everybody felt very uncomfortable watching and a lot of people were saying that you know he really did go out of his boundaries I definitely did agree with that commentary he did go out of his boundaries however I do believe that part of him getting out of his boundaries was because it seems like Suki never really seems to have any boundaries. So when you're putting it out there for people constantly, and this is what people know you as, that only fans girl that did a lot of stuff with her boyfriend, some things considered to be more controversial than others, a lot of explicit things I can't even talk about, then, you know, you're getting to situations where, you know, people are talking to you in a certain kind of way because they already expect it from you because of behaviors that you put out, because of behaviors that you project onto people. And, you know, like Denzel Washington said at the beginning of this video, you know, he felt that by turning down a role because he knew it was controversial and he did not want to be attached to something so controversial 
early in his career. And then the next role he got by waiting, by not accepting that money. And y'all, you know, you got to remember, even, I mean, it's very hard for black people to even get parts now. But back then, you're being offered $600,000 and you're relatively unknown at that time. Having to turn that money down and to just hope and cross fingers and keep auditioning, hoping that something better comes your way when you're not known at that time, Denzel put that work in. And I really do believe that putting that work in is something that is really missing now, now in this modern generation. Now, I'm not saying this to even look down on people that had to do certain things to get by, but when you're literally going on an interview and saying, you know, to Armand Wiggins that, yes, it was 100% P-I-S, and I love to do that on myself, and I am a disgusting person, you're basically putting it out there that nobody should respect you, nobody should care about you, and, you know, people will continue to project that same thing back to you because all they're getting is this image. Now, honestly, anybody can rebrand. I get that. I know that that is very difficult to do. There are a lot of other people that are not on this type of projectory that are getting parts and are getting roles and are getting brands. And I know that Sukiyana got to do what she got to do, but at what level is this going to go? It's already so far down in the gutter. I mean, honestly, you know, like I said, I know she had to do what she had to do when she didn't have any money and was coming up. And yes, she was getting paid for it. But this is what people know you as. So because this is how they know you as, it's hard to get away from that. If you're trying to redevelop yourself and go in to do something else, you know, so honestly, I just feel, again, if making this video might help somebody out there not make certain decisions that literally could have costed Sukiyana specific deals or specific brands um, because they don't want to be associated with that type of imagery, then, you know, if you have to wait your turn, like, for example, Denzel had to do, heck, like a lot of people had to do, if you have to wait your turn and just keep having to push a little while longer, go ahead and take that push. Now, Sukiyana has been so enveloped in this personality that she has made for herself. Honestly, it might take the greatest PR team in the world to even clean this up if she wants to go and do something else. If she wants to be rebranded per se if that's the direction she wants to take for herself quite frankly I'm just stunned by all of this information coming out even the video that has basically been going viral that looked like sewage water brown sewage water it was just like how is this supposed to be attractive that was just saying like I need to go to the hospital this ain't right. This color is not right. And you guys know what I'm trying to say. You know, you got to watch what you say on YouTube. But she has been going viral for all the wrong reasons. I'm really hoping that whatever she's trying to do is her personal goal. That she reaches deep and get a good PR team and just start to clean some of this up. Because day after day, story after story, it has honestly been not looking a certain type of way. It doesn't even look classy you know it looks very beneath the earth and even with the work that she's portraying it looks bad because of how it's being perceived so like I said this whole Sukiyana mess is is just a complete mess y'all I'm just really hoping for the best I don't want to just get on here and just beat her down but the things that she's putting out I mean all I can say is, girl, get a PR team, try to clean it up a little bit if you can, and you guys, please uh, like, share, subscribe, leave your opinion below, keep it respectful, and until next time, you guys, 
Be safe and please enjoy your night. Bye, guys.